Hi, it's Dr. Elijah Van Dusen with New Hope Chiropractic. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about coffee. What are some of its benefits and what, if, what are some of the negative things about it as well? Should you drink it? Is it a good thing or a bad thing? Well, first of all, some basics about coffee. It's prepared from roasted coffee beans, which are the seeds of berries from the coffee plant. It's been enjoyed for hundreds of years, over 500 years actually, and it dates back to the 15th century when it was first uh, consumed by people in Yemen. It was cultivated in over 70 countries worldwide primarily cultivated in warm tropical regions along the equator and the two most commonly grown types of coffee are Arabica and Robusta. So what are some of the health benefits? Well it's high in antioxidants um, and um, is now touted as um, a way to get antioxidants by a lot of healthcare practitioners now and it's also good as a result of that fighting free radical damage. Number two, it help, helps protect uh, the liver, protects your, your liver's health, increases the circulation, can st uh, stimulate the liver, also can improve physical performance, um, it enhances uh, your workouts, for example, possibly taking them to the next level, and gives your uh, body energy. Also can help support cognitive function. It's been shown to increase blood flow to the brain, which helps support cognitive function. And coffee and caffeine, have been studied extensively as natural treatments for Alzheimer's disease actually as well as other neurological conditions and it also can help prevent diabetes. Uh, that six or more cups a day could sig significantly lower the risk of type 2 diabetes um, but even less might still be beneficial and it also help, helps to pre uh, promote heart health as well um, and it may have anti-cancer properties and it also helps boost fat burning as well. And now some bad things about coffee, some of the negative aspects. Well, it's number one, it's addictive. Caffeine can have a, a very addictive effect on the body. It can cause digestive issues as well. Nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea possibly uh, with a lot of coffee consumption especially. And it may alter your mood and increase anxiety too. Um, it can be high in calories sometimes too, um, especially if you put a lot of things into it, cream and sugar, for example, it's not recommended for some people as well. Um, however, there's not because there's some people who shouldn't consume caffeine altogether. It's not necessarily good for everybody, especially children. You don't want to be give, giving um, coffee to children. And although there's no evidence to show that some uh, the coffee drinking coffee coffee makes you short or stunts your growth, it can cause issues like hyperactivity and insomnia too. So it's not recommended for adolescents. So anyway, there's some, some good things, good aspects, and bad aspects here. And it does have some antioxidants in small amounts of riboflavin, potassium and manganese, for example. Some of the other uh, benefits are cognitive function, that's improved liver health, physical performance, and fat burning. Uh, but despite these benefits, again, there are some drawbacks like uh, addiction, increasing anxiety, digestive issues, possibly high in calories, and not recommended for certain groups of people. But in moderation, I think coffee can be enjoyed as an excellent addition to a well-rounded, well already well-rounded, healthy diet for most people. So check us out at newhopechiropractic.com, and uh, you can also book an appointment through our website. Make sure you're getting your regular adjustments because your nervous system will function much better and your body will be much healthier as a result. Have a healthy day.